Let's do some uh, string tracing exercises. Uh, we have a string variable uh, named fruit. Fruit uh, happens to store the string apple. And uh, fruit is changed to banana in the next line of code. I put quotes around things just to stress to myself that they're strings and not numbers. And finally, we system out print. Uh, I like students to uh, box their output uh, into a window like it would appear on the text uh, output screen. Uh, fruit is the name of the variable. It's currently storing banana. So banana prints out. And because we're supposed to represent spaces as a B with a slash through it on this particular worksheet, and because there is obviously a space there between the quote and the S, I should put a B with a slash through it there, and then the letters SPLIT. I'm, a, I'm not going to put quotes on the final answer here because this is supposed to represent the output window, which would not show those double quotes. So um, I know when I grade this that it's banana space split. Next, fruit. Interesting. Fruit uh, isn't initialized to anything here. Behind the scenes, fruit is uh, equal to null, but null gets overwritten with banana on the next line of code, so we end up at the same spot we were in the last exercise. And it prints out the same answer. Again, with a space in there. In exercise three, we have a string num1. Notice it's equal to the string 1, 2. I don't pronounce that as 12. I pronounce it as the string 1, 2. Num2, the string variable, is equal to 3, 4. So I always use these quotes on my uh, scratch work to remind myself that something is a string rather than an integer in this case. So in this situation, because, both, uh, because one or both of the operands around the plus sign are strings, the plus sign doesn't act as plus. No, it acts as a concatenation operator. Concatenation. So, concatenate. So, we concatenate here, and the output ends up being 1, 2, 3, 4, which technically is a string in that output window. If one of these was an int without the double quotes, we would have still had the same answer. Because as long as one of at least one of the two operands is a string and the other one's an int or a double, the computer will concatenate in Java. Number four, this is an interesting one. I don't think they put this on the AP exam, but it does probably work from left to right here. So we have uh, the string one, two being concatenated with the string three, four as above. So as the computer does that part of it, that simplifies to simply the string one, two, three, four. And now we see that has a plus with a plus 56. Well, because one of those two operands is a string, unlike Visual Basic, by the way, which gives an error message in a situation like this, uh, it will concatenate the whole thing. And there's your output. And the next question, uh, interesting. Number one is brought to life as a string variable. And immediately, it's initialized to whatever 13 is plus null string. Remember, when you have two quotes next to each other, we call it the null string. Sometimes we call it the empty string. Well, it's a string. And when you have a string being plused with something else, it treats it as concaten concatenation. So the right-hand side of that uh, expression on the, is the string 13. And it's the string 13 that gets stored then in number. So it prints out, fine, there's no error here. It prints out 13, uh, 1, 3, I should pronounce it, 1, 3. Notice that on this worksheet, we could have errors. So far, we haven't had any. Next exercise. After initializing the string variable number 1 to the string 1, 0, We use the uh, built-in integer.parseInt method, the parseInt method that's in the integer class that's built into Java. 
Well, this is equivalent to what in VB you might have learned is uh, performed by val or even C int in, in Visual Basic. It rips the quotes off of the string. And so the string 1, 0 is now kind of turned into the number 10. And that number 10 gets stored into the awaiting variable number 2. So number 2, which is an int, is simply represented as, a one, as 10. Not to be confused with the string 1, 0. And now in our output window, number 1 plus number 2. Well, because number 1 is currently the string 1, 0, and number 2 is the number 10, and this is legal in Java, it treats it as concatenation. So the answer is weird, but it is what it is. And the answer is 1, 0, 1, 0. Uh, moving on, number seven. Number one is a string, one zero. Number two is a double. Interesting. We have a double on this worksheet. And the double is whatever number one is parsed. Well, the quotes are ripped off of that 10. Now, that's truly an integer. Can an integer without a point zero? be stored in a double? Yes, it can. Technically, behind the scenes, it's being treated as a decimal number. If you want to put a dot there or maybe even a, a point zero to emphasize that, that's fine. But that is legal. If it were conversely an int variable and you're trying to, to uh, store a double in there, it would be an error message. Anyway, the output uh, answer here is, oh, this is tricky. Now we're parse inting the original one zero uh, again. So this, this whole expression right here is 10. And we're multiplying it times number two, which is 10.0 technically. Can you multiply a whole number with a, de with a decimal number, an int with a double in Java? Sure, you can. And the answer, of course, is 100. I think the compiler would print a point zero, but only CT would know that on the AP exam of 100 would be fine as an answer. They wouldn't try to trick you with the point zero. Next, the number eight. Number one is uh, some version of pi, 3.14, represented as a string. See how I'm tricky with these variable names? I call something a number, but it's not really a number. It's a string. Anyway, this uh, famous method built into Java, parse double, takes a string and rips the quotes off of it if the underlying value is a legal decimal number, and 3.14 is a legal decimal number. So we're, we are uh, storing 3.14 into the awaiting variable number 2. And number 2, therefore, is written without quotes around it. OK, the last line of code here tells us to print whatever number 1 is. Well, that's a string, so that's 3.14 with a plus. So that's concatenation. Oh, interesting. We have casting. We are casting something. Number 2, which is 3.14, has its decimal places truncated. That's harsh. So 0.14, number 2, was 3.14 in this expression, but the 0.14 in this expression is being chopped off. It's not chopping it off internally in the memory uh, of the computer where number 2 is stored. It's just part of this expression that is treat, choosing to chop off the 0.14. Anyway, we end up with uh, concatenation here because we have a string being plused with the number 3. So your output window would end up showing, this is weird, but it is what it is, 3.14 concatenated with 3. So there's your answer. Don't try to make sense out of these because uh, they're just worksheet exercises that are meant to be a little tricky. Finally, number nine, uh, we have fruit, which is stores uh, the word apple. And uh, we have our a famous length method that comes from the string class. So anytime you have a string variable, you're allowed to dot length it. And the length is simply the number of characters that are in that string. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. And that's what prints out here. The number five prints out because we're doing that in a system out print statement. Don't overthink this. 
Don't think that the answer is four. Don't be confused with the fact that uh, strings, the letters within a string, the characters within a string, are internally uh, indexed as starting at zero. So yes, I agree. The three is considered to be the E. The E is considered to be in position four, but the length is still five. So don't be confused on the AP exam because they love to trick you with this uh, notation. And uh, now finally, finally, number 10, name is equal to Y I'm missing with a capital W, just to be accurate here. And we are printing out the length of name. Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's a 10. Plus Spartans.length. This is legal. This is legal. You can take a string literal, something in double quotes, and dot length it. Because it is a string, it's just not a variable. It's a, it's a string literal, we call it. So let's count the length of Spartans. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have an 8 here and we have a 10 here. And neither thing is a string. This is a number and this is a number. So the final answer is 18. I, I, I would bet that a wrong answer would be like 108 because people would think it concatenates, especially after doing a bunch of exercises like the, the ones above. But the answer is clearly 18 here. Have a great day.